cook it just by itself. A lot of people love it. I, Walter Shields used to always want me to bring him poke salad. I told him there was some up here. But it's, uh, so I decided one day I was picking some for him. It had been years since I'd cooked any of it, and I cooked some, and it, it's just, it's more like, you know how spinach has a little slime, yeah. kind of slimy effect to it? Yeah. That's the way poke salad gets, except worse. So this is what I use to treat the mites. These little strips are what I was using to treat the mites. They're covered in this, so this was actually like a cardboard, and it's like covered in this gooey, hop it's like uh, derived from hops the plant so they walk all over it and when they're walking all it on it they're rubbing on it and they're rubbing on each other it on, spreads the right the so treatment the all the bees the are doing that yeah so this is covered in a gooey substance okay, yeah and when the bees walk on it they just spread it everywhere and it helps treat for hive bee or varroa mites okay so, but it's uh, plant-based so it's totally safe for the bees it's safe for people i can have it on with honey there's not a lot of options for um treating when there's honey supers on so i'm very happy for that one hello baby busy A lot of drones. Huh? What did you say about that one? There's a lot of drones, which is good because that means when they start uh, when they start getting ready to produce new queens, um, there's a lot of so if a hive is this time of year a hive will produce a lot of drones because this is the time of year they're gonna start growing really quick and they're gonna start trying to split and make a new queen and you have to have drones to impregnate the queen. So seeing a lot of good drone production is a nice thing. Girl, is just to always remain very calm because if you start panicking, if you start freaking out and getting nervous and you start sweating or panicking, you're going to, you're going to make silly mistakes. I love my little apiary, it's so magical. We've got all the pretty things. Welcome. Take a look around. I'm happy with it. I think it looks pretty. Oh yeah. 
Hello everyone, happy Sunday and welcome. We are here at Honey Llama Farms today and we have done a lot this weekend. Come on with me and we'll see the new project. So we finally got our vegetable garden put in. My father built me this big 20 by five uh, vegetable garden raised up full of a combination of just dirt and ash from some of our uh, burn piles. And we've already got it fully loaded with all sorts of veggies and yummy goodness. I'm super excited. You come this way. I'll show you what we got. We've got some tomatoes. We've got a uh, cantaloupe. We've got zucchini, peppers, okra, um, cucumbers, more peppers, and eggplant. So there's a lot of good things growing in here. I'm very, very excited. This is super rich soil. So in a couple of weeks, we should see a lot of growth happening. And then if you come over here and see my fancy vintage bathtub, which has now been repurposed to be a little herb garden. So we've got some rosemary, some uh, verbena option, parsley, oregano, uh, let's see, tarragon, milkweed for the monarch butterflies, uh, more parsley, and then a germander, which is more of just for fun because it flowers and the bees love it. And then over here, we've got what looks like a really sad little salvia. He will perk up, I promise, but he's a little sad right now because of the transfer. But we've done a lot this weekend. We've got some new plants in the ground. I've got a little shrubby goodness over there. That's an orange honeysuckle that's planted around the tree. They get really big. They put out these beautiful blue trumpet looking blooms and the bees, hummingbirds, and the butterflies absolutely love them. So I'm very excited to see that get large and gorgeous. And it's a little weedy around the bottom, but it's okay. We're not afraid of some weeds here and we leave them for our bees. But we've got all of our flowers that I put in last week are just coming up beautifully. Everything's starting to bloom. Everything's starting to come back from the winter sleep. And I'm so excited again halfway through April this is just going to be big and colorful and lush and I could not be more excited to see it all it's gonna be awesome I'm loving it this is finally turning into my own little garden Nirvana and I've got my bees they're all doing great I just checked on everybody so it's happening everything's coming up roses and I'm very excited about all the new things we've been doing and I can't wait to keep doing it and to keep growing it. So thanks for stopping in. Hope you like what you saw. And if you want to see more videos, make sure you follow us at Honey Llama Farms on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. See you later.